Welcome one and all to the season three recap of my Campus Var Youth Academy Challenge. And we have some pretty good news. Um I'm not sure where exactly it'd be. Um let me actually check some. Yeah, the um yeah the youth facility I think already got upgraded. They were like pretty bad last time. But this time they're upgraded to adequate and that's a good thing because looking at our youth candidates last time, they're quite good. Yeah. Um, the best one, of course, being Robert Laz Laszlo, a goalkeeper. 15 years old. He's freaking young as hell, and he can definitely develop. Along with him, we have Ovari, who's a two-star. He exists, I guess. Then we have Kexkis, who is a midfielder center. He's a, he's a deep line playmaker, and yeah, he's from Hungary. If I actually end this entire thing, most of the players are from Hungary. Except for one, which is Dragon Gavrilovic. He was a 15-year-old, uh, a, a center-back, central defender from Serbia. And we're hoping he's going to be pretty acting good because he probably will be. But actually, there's not really a guarantee because if they get injured a lot, their potential probably... I just won't go down the corner of Zealand over here, but I'm not exactly sure about that one. Roland Vidnyansky. He actually isn't even that good, but like... Yeah, he's still quite good, if I'm being honest. Our reputation is also pretty decent, but I think we because it got really, it might go down soon. We were currently ranked, I think, as a two-star last time I checked that. We're still a two-star. But we did get relegated last season, but we're still actually doing okay. So I'm a little bit shocked about that one. Now, this year we didn't do the great league-wise, but I'm not going to show you that, although you might already saw it. Pretty much, yeah, the first... First month went decent. We only got two wins and three draws, but it was okay in my opinion. Because if we didn't get, because in case one, we were projected to get relegated this season, we're expecting to be dead last. And we're kind of holding our own, I guess. I don't know. And then the next game, we won against Pendigure in the Hungarian Cup third round. And then we also beat the team I cannot pronounce 3 nothing. And then everything else was decent. And then there was a draw against Becca Scaba. Becca just. I don't know, Becca Scaba, it's hard to pronounce. And then we lost against Dioscuro and Katsing Barsiga. Then the next month, we went literally undefeated. We have Kex, Kexamedi, Solnok, Kasakvar, which was the cup game, and Pex. Then we um, beat Kiramont. Then we also go on to beat Naregi Haza. Then we go on to beat Segled. But then we lost our first game of, like, you know... Since like the second month, two packs and we lost MTK Budapest. After that, we went on kind of a bad streak where we couldn't do much. We then also took on FCSB. Yes, not FCSB. We took on not FCSB in the cup. I mean, not really a cup. It was a friendly, and we do lose only one nothing. So we get that's a good thing. Then you have Budiors, Budiors, and Budafolk. Yeah, yeah, we only won five matches at that point. We did beat a team in the friendly, does that really matter? Then we would go on to lose the entirety of our matches in February, which obviously isn't great. In March, we only draw matches, which is pretty annoying. And in April, we kind of ended off well, and we win our, our last, and we win four of our, of our last five. In the end, as you already saw, yeah, our top goal scorer was David Zavar, who was at this point... He's 31. I, I might want to sell him at this point. Although, we can't do that until next season. But he's already, but he's getting quite old. So, I, I obviously do want to play with some younger players on the team. where definitely are going to develop. And, yeah, David Zavara with seven goals. And, coincidentally, we from the seventh place. And, in the end, the team getting promoted are Becca Scaba and Dioscur. Now, let's look at the other leagues around here. You have England. We're in the Premier League, Man City would win it. And I think we're like three years in, so I'll show it. Man City, Tottenham, Liverpool, and Arsenal qualify for the Champions League. Then Chelsea, uh, Manchester United, and Newcastle qualify for the... I mean, so Chelsea and Man United qualify for the Europa League. And Newcastle for, confer for the Conference League. And then actually, yeah, the last, like, yeah, for the first three... For all the three talented matches, that has been... 
pretty much just Man City. And then also a runner-up one year is the freaking Aston Villa, who aren't or still who barely missed out on the European competition this season. But it's so shocking to me that they nearly could have won. I'm not, I won't show them what exactly happened. Stupid. Now, obviously, you can kind of piece it together if you, if you look at the right place. Yeah, they end up getting uh, 76 points. And if we look at uh, Man City, we'll see if they... And then Man City, they got... Uh, they got 81 points, so it wasn't really close. Actually, yeah, no, it was still like 5 points, but whatever. But you received quite a lot of money. And then, yeah, Dominic Sif. And then Marcus wins third place. Horvath is named the Young Player of the Year. And for the team this season, it was only Marcus and Puskas and Gensler, but still pretty good, of course. Yeah, we're a very, we're, as much as a vertical tiki talk, we really don't score too often. Just our defense is apparently really good, so, yeah. My opinion, just our defense is really heckin' good, so that's why we keep winning. If I had to guess. Yeah, Frederick Kasse, he has, you know, he has it's almost five star, he's quite heckin' good. But anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the season three recap of the Cap as far as save. I know it's been a while. Really for me uploading the channel, but especially the save. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed and say goodbye. Dude.